My name is Jack Archer, and I'm a pilot of the Robotech Defense Force. I was born just before the Global War. My parents died soon after the war began, so I had to learn how to survive on my own. Sometimes I wonder what kind of person I might have been if things were different. It's one of my darkest fears. If you took the war out of me, would there be anything left? The global war had been going on for a long time. All the experienced pilots were dead. Playing some robot tech battle cry. For the OG, you know the OG Xbox. They wanted to play the game for a long time. Remember I saw it at a video store? I think they had it on the GameCube? I think it was on all platforms, I think. All I wanted to play it, because I never never heard of the anime, so... But it looked, it looked like a cool game, but I just never seen gameplay. I just seen the box. It's a Robotech, and it has the, a mech in the cover. It looked pretty sick. Pretty sick. Oh, it's two players. I'm not sure. I think there's like a multiplayer. Couch co-op mode or something. I don't think there's co-op mode for the story mode. Well, we'll see. Well, not, not, not in this video, but in the future. In future videos, I'll probably check it out. But I love the graphics. What is it called? Uh, style shaded? Shaded? Style shaded graphics? Remember, I'm using HDMI, so that's why it looks even better. <laughs> But it looks pretty good for component too. If you have it up to your um, HD TV by component, it still looks pretty good that way too. And this is one of those games that you should actually practice before you. I mean, you should practice a lot. <laughs> I think they have a tutorial. I should have done. I should have done that first because I, I forget that there's different modes. Your whatever they call it, the, the suit. The Robotech outfits, so we call it the mech suit, can transform and stuff. Definitely gotta pra practice this game. That way you can uh, um, get the controls, because uh, there's gonna be different parts in the game where you're gonna be different um, parts, you know, like you're, you're the mech suit, or you're flying like this, or you're doing this, doing that. I'm doing pretty good for somebody who hasn't played it. <laughs> I think I played this once since I bought it. I was gonna say it reminded me of Star Fox, but this is not Unreal. I can't I can't go anywhere I want. I don't think I can. Or maybe um what was that game called uh, Crimson Skies? Which I never played but I've seen gameplay footage and it looked like this, sort of. I'm guessing that you, that yellow reticle that's going around, that little yellow part, you gotta shoot that, I'm guessing. But 
By the way, I turned the music off in the game because it, it's a um a well-known an anime, so most likely I'm gonna get a copyright strike or copyright notice or Harmony Gold's gonna you know screw me out of the uh, <laughs> you know uh, they're gonna send me a bunch they're gonna send me a bunch of um copyright notices. I heard they're pretty shady. I've been hearing shady, shady things about uh, about um, Harmony Gold. There's some lawsuit going on right now with them and somebody else, with and with the artist who who did the uh, drawings. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on with the with that. Stay glued to that radar. So I turned the music off. They had that heroic, you know, like the music from the anime. A very heroic um, score or music. That's why all you hear is the voices and, and the, the sound effects. This game was made by T TDK, which I never heard of them. They sound like a, a computer company. <laughs> oh, cool. In the back it says you can do HD TV 480p. But I imagine this is higher because I'm using um, HDMI. It's just not a mod, but it's the uh, Delgato upscales it, so it's probably a bit higher than that. Oh, Veritech. That's what it's called, right? This machine you're using, which can transform to like a um, like what you see right now. It can transform to like a the like Gundam type. I'm not too heavy on anime, so I, I don't know a lot of this stuff. <laughs> I watched a show, a, a good portion of it. I like it. I think it was on Netflix, too. I gotta, fin I gotta finish watching it, but it's a lot of episodes. You guys head back to the Prometheus. I've got some business to take care of in town. SDF yeah, I remember the characters. Yeah, that chick. <laughs> Turns into like a love triangle, doesn't it, later on? In typical anime fashion. <laughs> maybe I'll get my. Maybe I'll make a video about the multiplayer, if it, if it's if it's worth uh, talking about. But I'm pretty sure it's on the GameCube. I remember seeing it back back when this came out. It was on the GameCube, and obviously it's on the Xbox. Most likely it is on the PS2. It's one of those games. SDF one control to Wolf Ten, an alien assault force is approaching from the west. Head into zone two zero nine and secure the area. Not bad looking game for what, two thousand two? Uh, yeah, in the back of the box is 2002. Not bad, huh? <laughs> for a 15-year-old game. But then again, I'm using HDMI, so that's probably why it looks even better. But I, I played before, which is Component. It still looks really good. And look at these buildings over here. Look, I mean, oh my god, man, it looks amazing. Is it just me? I don't remember the game looking that good when I had a, on when I was using regular component to the TV. It looked good, really good, but not this good. Depends on your um, the scale better or great. The quality scale on the software, on the Elgato capture card software. If you put better, it's gonna look obviously better. The, what's it called? The quality scale. Anyways. Getting used to the controls. It's one of those games you you're gonna really need to learn how to uh, control control your Veritech.
from what I remember, the anime had a, um the bad guys were like these huge people, right? They're like aliens, but they're huge. I think they have purple skin. They look like human beings, but they're just really big, like big as King Kong or about big as Godzilla, or even bigger. <laughs> Can't remember. I remember thinking that was kind of lame, but then I don't know. The show kind of grew on me the more I watched it. I wonder if they made any more uh, uh, Robotech games. I hope so, because it's pretty awesome so far. It would be nice if the right joystick can move the camera around, but I think the joystick does, um, it moves around the aiming reticle. The lock-on thing, the lock, you know, you lock on to an enemy. But the, ca the camera's pretty good so far, but it would be nice if it just be like a normal game, you know, just move the right joystick, move the camera. Getting the hang of it now. Come back when you have some skills. <laughs> yeah, the lock-on thing, uh, I still trying to learn how to do that, the lock-on, to switch to different enemies. So what do you think about the game so far? Let me know in the comment section. Don't be too shy. I believe this game goes for pretty cheap. I remember buying it for like, you know what? I think I bought this game with a, a uh, what do you call it? When you go to eBay, a lot. 
And you can buy a game that locks. Is that what they call it? That's how I got this game. Because I, I, I knew the um, original Xbox was going to be very cheap right now, so I buy as much as I can. Until it, because who knows? Five years from now, ten years from now, OG Xbox might be really expensive, like Nintendo or, or well, not Nintendo, but like Sega Saturn. Because a lot of Sega Saturn games are fucking expensive. So, you know, get them now while you can, when they're cheap. So I went to eBay and I remember buying a bunch of uh, original Xbox games. Not just any games, just games that I was interested in, like this one. I think this, is, this was part of a, uh, um, a bundle I bought with um, th like a box full of games. I think it, was like tw it came like 20 games or 15 games. I can't, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like this game and like 20 other games for about like $10, $7. And good games too. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember all the other ones I bought. I think uh, one with the Dungeon and Dragons, um, Area 51. I think Shenmue, Shenmue 2. I bought them and just put them away, so I haven't really got a chance to play them yet. But I knew what I, was, I knew what I was buying. Yeah. Alright, um, more, more videos, I'll, I'll put up more videos pretty soon, uh, thank you for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.